basically in this video I'm going to be reading a bunch of popular romance books which I'm actually really excited about because it's been a while since I've read like romance books. I read a lot of fantasy and romance but this time it's going to be focused just on romance and I'm just so excited to read people falling in love and getting all oh, those like butterfly feelings. The first book that I'm going to be reading is When in Rome which I've heard so many other booktubers talk about. I don't really know what it's about even though they have explained it multiple times in like different videos and I think I've read another book by the same author who is Sarah Adams if I'm correct and she wrote the cheat sheet which I read and you know it wasn't my favorite but I'm hoping that this book will be better. When in Rome is basically about the celebrity who takes a little vacation in Rome, Kentucky. She meets this baker and obviously they fall in love. books like this is very interesting because it gives insight into what being a celebrity is like and I obviously don't know what it's like to be a celebrity but at the same time I know that they are human they go through certain things but I think it makes it easier to empathize with them when you are like reading their kind of experiences and being put in their positions. I will say that with the romance I like more slow burn romance and because of that I don't really know if I like the romance or not, especially because it moves really fast, but at the same time, it doesn't have any other options. Like, it will be very difficult for it to be a slow burn, especially because of the way that they met. But at the same time, I don't really like it when the romance moves too quickly because I feel like it just doesn't feel, I guess, fully fleshed out. And something about the writing just kind of irks me in some way. Like, I don't know. The, when the characters are described multiple times as being, like, really attractive and really pretty, I think it's sweet, like, the first couple of times, but then once it starts, like, being repetitive, I'm kind of, like... I don't want to hear it anymore like I'm done with hearing about how pretty and attractive they are and I just feel like they're basically pining for each other and like obviously they're going to end up together but I just feel like it would have been I guess a little bit better if, if there was more them meeting becoming friends and then falling in love with each other rather than them I guess being attracted to each other initially and then slowly becoming in a relationship. It is very easy, it is very fun to read which is why I am enjoying it and honestly that's all I could want from a romance. I finished Run in Rome really quickly which was exactly what I wanted. I wanted a light and fluffy book and I really enjoyed it but at the same time there were things that I was a little bit nitpicky about. The first thing was that it had this forbidden romance trope but Rather than being cute, it was kind of annoying because they had this insta-love when they first meet and they were kind of pining for each other but they were like, we can't be together because we're from different worlds. But then it got annoying for me because it's obvious that they liked each other so I wanted them to just get together instead of them being like, I want to be with you but I can't be with you because I think over time it just started to get annoying. Especially because they didn't really get together until the end and it could have just been like the whole entire book. You know, like you could have done it in the halfway point. It didn't need to go all the way to the end. Another thing was because of the insta love, I literally did not care about the characters. I didn't think that they had any chemistry with each other. And I don't know, the romance just didn't give me the feeling that I felt when reading better than the movie. Where like you get the butterflies and you know, you feel the chemistry between the characters. You kind of want to cry because of the overall setting behind the book. I just didn't get that in this book. Like I, I literally felt nothing because of that. I enjoyed this book. It was very fun to read. But in terms of the romance, which is obviously the main focus, that wasn't my favorite. The next book that I'm going to be reading is Yours Truly, which I've heard so many booktubers talk about this book and a lot of them have rated this book very highly and because of that I'm very excited to read it. I do know that this is going to be a lot more slow burn because there are certain things about the character that I think it takes a while for them to get to know each other, which I'm so excited for that, like I love that. I read a 
good chunk of yours truly on my commute when I was going to uni and honestly I'm really enjoying it basically both of them work in a hospital and Jacob has anxiety so Brianna tries to help him through that and Jacob is a very relatable character which I don't really think is a good thing but I kind of understood a lot of his thought process and just the things that he was going through I do think that the characters are very lovable as well they just balance each other out really well and it is very slow burn but there's also like a fake dating trope which is basically how they get to know each other but the whole beginning of this book as well was very cute because they basically write letters to each other which I felt like was a good way for their relationship to develop and I read a lot during my commute so I feel like I can read this book pretty quickly and I'm very excited. I finished reading Yours Truly and I read this book in a day which I did not expect but when I started reading it I literally could not stop and then I realized that I read it like super quickly when I finished it and I was like oh. The last 10 to 20 percent made me cry which I love it when books make me emotional because if they can make me cry it just means that I feel a lot for the book it wasn't like full on zombie it was more like my eyes tearing up and then just like some tears dripping down my face they do have this miscommunication trope which did get a little bit annoying not gonna lie because it was a little bit frustrating because I wanted them just to admit their feelings for each other but at the same time it did help I guess create some tension between each other and there were certain bits where I got like the butterfly feelings but then there were also other bits that I kind of didn't care I really liked the characters I love Jacob he's very gentle very sweet and it's just so cute how much they want to spend time together. I love Brianna. I feel like she's very like bright, cheerful, even though she has a lot of stuff going around in the background. Overall, like I really like this book. It was just very fun to read. It was very fast and just like watching the relationship develop was really really cute. So I chose my last book for this video which is The Do Over which is written by the same author who wrote Better Than The Movies which is honestly my favorite romance books that I've read this year. I don't know exactly what this book is about but I think it's kind of one of those things where you're kind of stuck in the same day and you kind of have to go through that same day over and over again until something happens that helps you get out of that. I am excited to read it because obviously I really loved better than the movies so hopefully I will enjoy this book as well. Because how is it that everybody in her life treats her badly? It annoys me so much when characters... Like, how could nobody in her life care about her and treat her right? Like, seriously. I finished reading The Do-Over, which overall I really enjoyed watching Nick and Emily's relationship develop. However, I swear it made me so angry to see how everyone around her treated her besides like her friends. Because if it was me, I honestly would have anger issues, but I'm glad that everything got resolved at the end. But I don't know, like... The ending of their relationship was kind of unsatisfying for me because I really don't like it in romance books. They set up how these characters fall in love and how they come to be together. But then after they actually get together officially, they just end the book there. And I'm like, please, I just want some more scenes between them, some more cute scenes where they're actually together. Because the whole entire time, they're not like actually dating. They're just like learning that they like each other and like figuring things out. And then once they get together, it like ends. And <sighs> I don't know, that always annoys me in romance books. To me, I feel like this book ended more abruptly than the other books that I read. They got together and then bam. It was over and when I was reading it literally I turned the page and it was like the acknowledgement and I was like that's it that's the ending like please I wanted more out of it I still did enjoy it though it was a really fast read it was really cute and I love Nick like to be honest just the way that he was described in the book and just like the beginning of the relationship and how that whole thing developed but that's basically it for today's video like, I enjoyed all the books that I read in this video they were very refreshing very light and easy to read and honestly they were really fun I feel like I should read more romance books but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in another one bye <laughs>